Approaching his car, he encountered a woman running toward him, continuing past him after crossing the street. That's when Caden noticed a man sitting on the sidewalk, and he began to wonder if the two individuals knew each other. At that exact moment, a police car pulled up, and the officer also noticed the man sitting on the sidewalk, evidently not having a good day. They pulled up behind Caden's Tesla, and both Caden and the police officer started trying to figure out what was going on. The police officer activated his emergency lights, and when he did, Caden walked over to talk to him. Caden What's up, boys? Today we're acting on TikTok. Are you guys ready? Let's go, clock, clock. <coughs> okay, let's see how this is looking. It's looking pretty nice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You guys, buy that. I mean, looks pretty dope. Police in Markham, please. So I got a customer who just left my establishment. He's very, very drunk. And so how do you know he's intoxicated? You passed out in my locker room. We had to wait for security to wake him up. Vehicle. Hey, I have a cop behind me. Just one moment. Me. There's a policeman behind me. What's going on? Why are we pulled over? They ran out of gas. They ran out of gas? Have you had anything to drink today, sir? Uh, no. Okay, because I can see your eyes completely broad shot and you're you're slurring your speech okay because uh yeah, yeah well i'm just telling you what i'm seeing right can i get you to step out of the car for me please just walk back here for me okay right here yeah. turn around for me all right under arrest and impaired okay you know, I'm thankful for you because without people like you we can't do these kind of things these are the people 100%. we need to get off the streets he was so drunk i've never seen this before Oh Canadian words that confuse Americans part two. Have you guys seen my toque? My toque? Your what? Oh my god. <laughs> Your toque? Dude, what? What's that? Toque. <laughs> <laughs> my hat and or a beanie. <laughs> Alex, you want some pop? You mean soda? Oh my god. Here, use my toonie. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it? Use my toonie. Use my loony too. I gotta organize my notes in a duotang. Duotang. Duotang? This is a duotang. Oh, it's a folder. <laughs> folder? <laughs> Barely know her. Oh, God. Oh. I got a whole bunch of stuff from St. Lawrence Market. Let's un unpack. Okay. Let's try some stuff. Okay. Let's. Muck? We actually went so hard. Can I think? Bananas all. Uh, okay. That's a nice so much to be said about growing up ugly and what that does to you even after having like a grow up. And if you think I'm ugly still, that's fine. You're welcome to that opinion. Leave me alone. I have a list, but it's because I feel like even Holy in my game. <laughs> I, I, I surrender. I tried to warn you. No, no. Ask his forgiveness. I will. What if the USA and Canada united? For starters, a united North America would be massive. Individually, Canada and the USA are both the second and third largest nations, respectively. Combined, though, they'd be the largest nation on the planet with an area of 19.8 million square kilometers, even surpassing Russia in size. Like its land area, its economy would also be ginormous. America already has the world's largest GDP, but when combined with eighth place Canada, it would grow to a GDP of 27.2 trillion. Dollars. To put this in perspective, this is nearly $10 trillion greater than China, the world's second largest economy. And of course, it would also have a sizable population as well. Canada and the USA are the 37th and third most populated nations respectively. Holy and though cow. together, it would still remain in third place. Its total population would be over 373 million. What do you think should America and Canada... When I was younger, I used to practice math on this website called IXL, right? This website is the definition of learn from your mistakes. It's okay if you make a mistake, just learn from it. Which sounds good, and it is. But when you do an assignment, the first five questions are easy. And you get completion points for getting a question right. 
Then you have this weird hieroglyphic question that maybe takes you like 15 minutes to do. Like now it's getting harder, but you do it. It's okay. Uh Once you get to 50% completion, the questions don't get harder. They get impossible. Even my mom sometimes would look at my screen and be like, what? (laughs) She's, She's done university education. You know, whenever you got a question wrong, your completion score... Brad. A well time with this. Okay. Damn. Uh-huh. Caden was walking back to his Tesla Model 3 that he'd left parked on the streets of Miami, Florida. Just as he was approaching his car, he encountered a woman running toward him, continuing past him after crossing the street. That's when Caden noticed a man sitting on the sidewalk, and he began to wonder if the two individuals knew each other. At that exact moment, a police car pulled up, and the officer also noticed the man sitting on the sidewalk, evidently not having a good day. They pulled up behind Caden's Tesla, and both Caden and the police officer started trying to figure out what was going on. The police officer activated his emergency lights, and when he did, Caden walked over to talk to him. Caden told him what he'd seen on his way to his car, and that he had no idea what had happened to the man sitting on the sidewalk. The police officer got out and started questioning the man while Caden left. Later that night, Caden realized that his Tesla's built-in sentry mode feature might have captured what had happened. And when he checked, he wasn't disappointed. Oh my god. Let's begin. Chinese and Japanese hate each other. Indians and Pakistanis can't stand each other. Vietnamese and Cambodians do not want to be in the same room at all. Turks and Armenians hate each other. Turks and... Happy Family Day. You guys know I'm an American living in Canada, so I don't really know the origins of Family Day. All I know is that... No, no, no. Uh, Something isn't right. The streets have been quiet. Too quiet. Something's going wrong. There's no crime. Why is there no crime? It's gonna come back. And when it does, I'll be there. Stop it. Nobody's gonna... What the shit? Holy shit. Seven-year-old missing? In a Toyota Corolla? What the shit? Mister, a seven-year-old just got kidnapped in our city. What the shit? What are you all doing just sitting there? Are we all gonna rise up and look for this little girl? What is that smell? Holy shit, what, you, what is humanity coming to? Am I gonna have to rescue her on my own? Because I will. I gotta go rescue this little girl. If it's the last thing Kyle, that I... please leave. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't find her. I don't know what the fuck they expect me to do. Do you know how many Toyota Corollas there are in the city? Like, fucking... My woman died. Tell me what to do. Wee. <laughs> Boy. <coughs> Sponge sounds best. Number one or number two. I don't know. No way. Comment down below if I'm talking about So I left my PS4 on for five years, and now I can play Season to Forever. It appears many Canadians have reached their tipping point with tipping. A new survey mm-hmm. finds more than three in five say they're being asked to tip larger amounts and more often. And as CTV's Kevin Chirac reports, some say... I got out. Let's talk about what it's like to have a mental health. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. Wait, what? Jeez, that's that. That's my talent over there. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be amazing. Okay, holy cow. Okay, let's go. Let's get doing it. What? Shh. I read that. Bloodied my son's nose and I want him expelled. Janice. I mean it. Today. We're sitting in the Larkinville Academy. A school made possible by a grant from the Larkin Institute. I can't expel Trevor Larkin. It's Trevor Larkin. What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. It's Trevor Larkin. You smashed my nose. You got my mouth fired. 
You got us evicted. You humiliated me. You hung me over a toilet. Two for flinching, Trevor. <laughs> no more putting up with insults. No more being afraid. Let's see if you like how it feels. Help! Somebody help me! Stop! He deserves it. We do this, then we're just as bad as he is. Uh -oh. I'm so sorry. I promise I'll never make fun of anybody or pick on anybody or hurt anybody ever again. I swear. Please forgive me. Please. Just make me big again. The things we do to others, we do to ourselves. Love others and you love yourself. Hurt others? Yes. Yes, I understand. Parish Koba, don't you like Kora? Parish Kora! Okay, he's back. Perfect. Well, boys, that's going to be all. Like and subscribe and comment. See ya. Clock, clock. See ya.